This morning, a bombshell resignation at one of America's most prestigious universities. University of Pennsylvania President Liz McGill stepping down Saturday after facing mounting criticism following this highly charged moment on Capitol Hill last week when Representative Stefanik asked whether calls for the genocide of Jews would violate their campus codes of conduct. If the speech turns into conduct, it can be harassment, yes. I am asking, specifically calling for the genocide of Jews, does that constitute bullying or harassment? If it is directed and severe or pervasive, it is harassment. Soon after, the chairman of the university's board of trustees also resigning. Some students there say the school has not sufficiently responded to anti-Semitism on campus. President McGill's inaction fuels what has been happening, but she's just adding, I would say, fuel to the fire. The presidents of Harvard and MIT, who also testified, facing enormous backlash, accused of not doing enough to crack down on anti-Semitism and hate on campus. Does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Harvard's rules of bullying and harassment, yes or no? It can be, depending on the context. What's the context? targeted as an individual. The schools say they are beefing up security and setting up task forces, but that's not enough for some donors. Now withdrawing massive donations, blaming the school's stance on combating anti-Semitism. In a statement, the University of Pennsylvania says McGill will remain a tenured faculty. Meanwhile, Harvard's president apologizing for her comments and MIT saying they're standing behind their president through all of this. But keep in mind, the Department of Education now investigating six more schools for reports of discrimination. Melissa Adon, ABC News, Washington.